the castor comes in and says, where would you like me? What would you like me to do? Oh, the unnatural formations, that's what it'll break up, the bone spurs. So I say, well, fibroids and cysts and tumours, they're easy <laughs> compared to the bone spur, and yet the castor oil can break up a bone spur. But what I'd like to look at now is what foods have an acid effect and what foods have an alkaline effect. And this will enable you to ensure that you're having a more alkaline diet. So we're going to have a look at alkaline foods and we're going to look at acid foods. And you might be surprised to see that the first alkaline food I'm putting up here is the humble lemon. And you might say, no, the lemon's acid. It is. And it's acid where it should be. There's only one part in the body that should be acid. You know where that is? Stomach. stomach. It must be acid. If someone says, I've got a very acid stomach, I say, praise God. <laughs> because if you don't have an acid stomach, you can't break your proteins down. How do you know it's acid? Well, it's sore. It's, well, you shouldn't feel it. I can't feel it. It means you haven't got a thick mucosa lining on the stomach. We're going to look at water tomorrow, and that's made up of water. Maybe it's because you're dehydrated. Remember, you've got to investigate. I gave a presentation last night to a, to a group, and we had questions at the end. And one question was, what can I do for high blood pressure? And I said, well, I can't answer that in 30 seconds. <laughs> but you can go to my YouTube lecture. What can we do for this? I said, well, all depends on why it's... What can I do for my sore finger? All depends on why the finger's sore. So you've got to investigate. 